I just rinsed out the deep conditioner and I just like to use this piece of fabric that I use as a scarf to dry my hair. Um, and I'm gonna be using this leave-in that it's my first time using it, so we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I hope it's really moisturizing. And then I have just some drugstore um, heat protectant. And, okay, is it locked? Okay, unlock. All right, so I'm just gonna section out my hair. Start in the back, and tangle it some more. This could take a while. The up. Spray a little bit of this heat protecting on my hair. Oh, okay. It smells a little strong. And then section off the part of my hair. And I'm gonna do what some people call the tension mesh method. It's uh, got a good amount of hair. And we're gonna blow dry. Crunchy. It does not feel soft at all. <laughs> Oh gosh, I hope I didn't damage anything. I think we're good. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I just think I got a bunch of split ends that need some, some TLC. Okay, so I, I've been braiding it out and as you can see, I have been um, blowing out the back of my hair. I still have these little parts at the end, that's just split ends. And I know once I get that off, my hair is gonna be way more bouncy and free and living its best life. I do feel some type of residue. I think it's because of the leave-in, because it's a leave-in conditioner, so it does leave residue on your hair. So I'm somewhat tempted to not use the leave-in and just use the heat protectant and see how that goes. I got this section up here and I'm keeping this um, shower cap on my hair to keep the rest of my hair moist moist while I do this because I don't want to blow dry dry hair so just and that's it um and as you can see still got my ends looking real raggedy but that's gonna change soon and very soon so I'm just gonna finger detangle it I'm not gonna rake my hair like I've been doing I'm gonna finger detangle it and then yeah it's a lot of residue i don't think i want to use this leave-in on my hair right now okay so i know my hair looks like how it should look after i blow dry it not after i flat iron my whole head but it's okay i feel like this is what it was before and this is what it is now and I feel okay with the results because my biggest thing was I wanted to clip my ends so I know I'm being super rough I'm about to clip this stuff off anyway so whatever um so I'm just detangling see look at that look at all these knots and stuff like oh, this hair This is not a tutorial, this is just me doing me. Okay, so, girl, can you fit behind the earth? No, you can't. Okay. I remember when I was young, I used to try to flat iron my hair. I was like, uh, it was time to press it, honey. Flat iron did not do too much for me. I had to press my hair when I was young, I remember that. I don't know why I thought it was gonna change as I got older, okay. Okay, so now 
now it's time for me to clip my ends. Alright, so this part actually isn't that bad. I had some parts of my hair that really needed to be clipped. But this part of my head ain't that bad, so I'm just gonna. And y'all, these are not the best scissors. And the upgrade everything. But it's okay. I said I was gonna do it, and I did it. And this is gonna help with the overall health of my hair. Clipping my ends. Still not that much going on. So this is my hair afterwards. This looks like me when I was a kid, I swear. I look like how I looked when I was a kid. No lie, I wish I could find a picture to show y'all, but I still feel like part of my hair is, um, still feel like part of it still needs to be clipped some more. Like I still feel like some dryness. It could just be it's just dry. And I think I am gonna put some double butter cream from As I Am since it's not super flat. I don't have to worry about it being weighed down. I am gonna put that throughout my hair just to moisturize my ends. But there is some type of movement. And I could really just pick this out and have a whole fro, if you will. But um yeah, it's still like snagging and dry in some areas. So I'm gonna moisturize it. And I might just go ahead and do some type of style, like braid it maybe. And do a braid out. Or I might give it a little bit of time and then braid it. And do like a uh, braid out on stretched hair. So like I said, still some snagging which I thought clipping my ends would help. That, I really thought that's what, what that would help me, you know, in that department. Yeah, I'm gonna pick this up and just let it be big. So yeah, I cut off this much hair off my head. Plus there's still some like on the floor and on my counter. I feel like, I feel like. I feel like she's still alive. <laughs> I feel like she's still alive, you know? Um, I said, I think a braid out would be cute on this hair. Boom. Boom. Okay, all right, I'm out y'all. I'm about to clock into work. This is how my hair turned out. A frizzy like bush. This is what my braid out turned out to be. So it is what it is. I'm about to go into this job. I mean, at least it has some shape and y'all, it feels super soft. So I'm happy about that. My hair feels super soft and fluffy. And um, I got a little bit of definition, but it's just mostly frizzy. But I'm okay with it. Um, it's probably gonna last me one day. So I did just go to Walgreens. They have a sale on all their Shea Moisture stuff. They got their Shea Moisture stuff on sale for buy one, get one half off. So 
I was like, I don't know for sure if I want to buy the conditioner, the leave-in conditioner, because I just bought a leave-in conditioner, and I'm trying not to be a product junkie, but I want to get the hair mask, and if I buy a hair mask, I might as well get the leave-in, because the leave-in is only going to be $7, so, but here is what I bought. Let me leave this in my car, because I ain't trying to take it up into this job. Oh, and this job, they don't let you get go back to your car, so I got to make sure I got everything I need, and I left my jacket, of course. And it's super hot outside, but it's probably gonna be super cold in here. And I freaking left my jacket. I don't have an undershirt on. I always wear an undershirt, but I didn't wear one because I was like, okay, I'm just gonna wear my jacket because it's hella hot outside. I don't wanna wear no long sleeve shirt outside. But anyways, I was to go up to this job. Um, but I'm probably gonna go back up there and get the um, the hair mask, the Shea Moisture hair mask and show y'all that. And also get the uh, leave-in conditioner. But I'm gonna use that curl smoothie on my hair and do a, uh, probably another braid out, I don't know. I don't know, but as you can see, like it had, it, it didn't hold anything, but it kinda got a little texture to it, so I'm okay with it. But that's it, um, about to go in here and make a, make a coin or two, and I will see you all later. Thanks for watching, peace. So yeah, that's the end result.